Hello, this is Pino Tro again from San Francisco State. And this is the information design class. Uh, item seven in our sketch for layout for uh, project number two is a scatter plot of the California uh, counties showing cases and, and deaths. So this uses the uh, same data set that I had created by doing a bunch of cut and paste from the two uh, pages from the two um, from the New York Times that showed the counties. Um, if you recall, it was the one that showed also the little strips of color next to it. So after I did a little bit of that, um, I um, I was able to um, you know have a, a clean file for that. And uh, and you've already done this color plot in the previous project, so I'm not I'm gonna do this real real quick. It will just be a kind of a repeat. But um, so the the data set again. Well, this is in text wrangler. It looks like this. Let's uh, and I again like to work with comma separated value. I think it's safer <laughs> uh, because you know there's no garbage. And let's open Tableau. Let's try to recreate that real quick. Um, in my sketch, the scatter plot looks um, rather small, so it's not so great. <laughs> uh, and some of the maps too. So you can you can play with that. If you have a state, if you live in a state that has maybe twenty counties instead of fifty counties, that might be a better scatter plot. I don't know. I know it's twisting the plot, the data, but um, so anyway, this is showing again cases on the horizontal and that's on the vertical uh, per 100,000, right? Because that's the correct matrix. Otherwise, a big county or Los Angeles County would have lots, but per capita or per 100,000 is the correct scale. Um, so let's see what else I did here. Oh yeah, I played around with maps again. All right, because I duplicated. Yeah, that's it. So this is basically the same file, actually. Um, so let's just, yeah, duplicate this. And I won't go into Illustrator except to say, you know, it looks a little light, so maybe it does need a background. I'm not sure how to do it in Tableau now, so I'll just do it in Illustrator. Um, and I'm showing all the labels. So let's let's duplicate this. So we would have again gotten the uh, connect to a, a text file. And I would have found that under number seven. Okay, right here. I'm not going to bring it in now because it's already in. So um, I'm going to do a new sheet. And I'm going to, the count is nice and county already. So I'm going to click that. And actually, not because we're doing a scatter plot and not a map. So what we want is click on. That's uh, the first one, I believe, is the horizontal. Yeah, so let's click on that's uh, cases per 100,000, and then click on that's per 100,000. And now it's a single dot there, but if we bring the county to the label, we get our scatter plot. So uh, this is the default automatic is this little circle with the, with the uh, border, but if we make it a circle circle, it will be a little more, um, I don't know, just simpler actually. And then with color, we can do a little bit of opacity so that we can see them in their exact location. Uh, border, I would say none again. Um, and then under labels, we can say again, show all the labels, maybe make them smaller. And then allow all labels. Now, what I would do in a case like this is simply when I bring it into Illustrator, there's probably a way to move them around here, but I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna try to do it now. There's probably an editing. Exclude the appliance. Yeah, I'm sure there is mark label, always show. Anyway, there's probably a way to oh, locations. No, 
Okay, I thought it was the location of the label. Anyway, um, I would just clean this up in Illustrator. Just save it in Illustrator and move them around or perhaps get rid of some if you don't want to. And then you can highlight some of these as well. So um, that's it. Just save this and add it to the Illustrator. Or if you can figure out how to edit here, even better, right? You save time. Um, there is one other thing that probably is useful, especially if you know statistics, which would be to add at another trend line. So you could say show trend lines. So this looks like, you know, what counties are doing better, what are doing worse. And then there's different types, linear, logarithmic, exponential, power, polynomial, I don't know what all this means exactly, I know vaguely. Um, uh, logarithmic is the one that I know, it's flattening <laughs> the curve, the, the trend. Um, and then you can show confidence bands and force intercept, which starts at zero, um, but whatever, okay? So you could add that if you wanted to talk about something that you see, okay? If not, just leave it out. I'm gonna delete it now. Um, I can't, so I'll just go back this way. Okay, so that's the scatter plot. And of course you could do different measures, right? You could do cases and cases or, um, no, you can't do deaths and deaths. It's the same dead set. So it's gonna be either something or other. So deaths and cases to me, oh, actually, yeah. Actually, I'd like to have them shifted. I'd like to have, I just flipped that. I'd like to have actually cases on the horizontal and that's on the vertical. Um, another interesting one could be, let's see, cases. These are all cases per 100,000. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the correct one, right? Okay, this is done. Um, and the last one is gonna be the heat map real quick because that's a, still experimental for me. Um, so um, I'll have to talk to you directly if you want help with that. But um, let's do that next. <laughs> 